when COVID arrived in March, we one of the first things we thought of was like Whoa Lockin, uh, which was planned for June, and we moved it to the last possible date we could think of where the weather still works in Virginia. Uh, that's the first weekend of October. And we also went to work, working with the local government in the county, the state government of Virginia, and the federal government, uh, the people at Health and Human Services and the CDC, and trying to see if there was a way that we could put on an event during this crazy time that we're living in, this challenging time health-wise, and, and do it in a safe way. And so we were exploring, actually setting up a COVID testing lab at the entrance of the festival. Um, and we were gonna just do camping only, where people would arrive at the festival and you have to stay there, no in and outs. Uh, obviously we would use masks and social distancing and have a limited capacity and doing a lot of things that we think, you know, if, you, if people are disciplined, it can work. But given the kind of broader climate that we're in, uh, it's not going to be the right moment this October. Um, but it is going to be the right moment next October. And we're moving lock into the same weekend, first weekend of October in 2021. And, you know, we wanted, you know, so badly to pull this off, not just for the fans and, of course, for the bands who need the gigs, but particularly for all the hundreds of people that work at a festival like Lock and who are the local people, um, who work security, you know, who work in catering, who work on the staging, who work out in the campgrounds. Um, there's hundreds of people that make it work. And those are the people that right now, you know, aren't able to be at pools or lakes and enjoying time with their families because, you know, they, they don't have a pool you know, and we wanted to pull the event off, particularly for them. Um, so we're really sad, sorry that we're just not able to do it. Um, but we are gonna do it next October. And we also have some exciting news, uh, which is we are gonna do music from the lock in sight um, this October 2nd, 3rd and 4th. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, we're going to have our great friends, Joe Russo's Almost Dead, come play three nights on the lock in sight. We're going to stream it each night. Um, there'll be information. And, you know, if you hold your ticket from this year's lock in to go next year, um, of course, you'll be able to watch it free. And we recommend to everyone to hold on to their tickets because next year's lock in, by the way, we are going to celebrate. Phil Lesh's 80th birthday was this year. So we're gonna sell his, celebrate what the new 80 is, which is 81. So we're gonna do Phil's 81st next year. And we do hope you'll hold your tickets. And we are really excited for the stream that we're gonna be doing this year, October 2nd, 3rd, 4th. Joe Russo's almost dead, live from Lockin. And that'll be how we enjoy ourselves um, until we're ready to return to the farm, which will be next October. Um, so we appreciate all your support and we tried hard to pull this thing off. And for those of you who held and have your tickets, we really appreciate it. Those of you who need to do a refund, you can make that happen at the Lock and website. And we appreciate all your support. Peace.